Welcome guys to Black Hawk Rescue Mission 5. It's an open world with the option of a PvP arcade as well. And it also provides uh, a vast array of different types of weaponry, uh, attachments for those weaponry. It also provides air assets, land assets, and highly detailed customization for your character in game and also for the PvP mode. Now this does come with a cost, nothing is free in Black Hawk Rescue Mission 5 and it is very unforgiving. There's a lot of complaints at the moment in the game's current state because of the way that the AI are acting. The community went from around 3,000 people playing it every single day to now around 700 to 1,000 depending on whether it's the weekend or not. You can see me try and attempt a, a land here, but uh, I fail miserably, you'll see at the end. Unfortunately, the game currently receives a lot of negative feedback from the mechanics of the aircraft. Um, you can see in my videos that as long as you know how to fly and use technique, it just takes practice. Uh, there's no point giving the game a bad review because well, you haven't spent long enough learning how to fly. Now what I will say is that since this is Roblox and there's quite a lot of young people playing this, uh, not everyone is going to have access to a decently powerful machine. You don't have to have anything particularly powerful or high grade to be able to play this game. But you do need, um, I would say, at least a 1050 or higher to be able to get a smooth frame rate. Otherwise you're going to be playing below 60 frames per second and it's really, really tough to do that in this game. Now, like I was saying before, there is a bit of an issue with the AI uh, being way too strong against uh, players. But if you want to play the PvP mode, it is really beautiful. The way that they, they have designed the game is really architecturally beautiful. Um, especially in Roblox. They really push the limits on what they can actually achieve. When in game, depending on whether you do have the 1050 or higher, you can achieve easily over 100 FPS. And now for those of you who do not know, or who do not use the FPS unlocker, uh, I strongly advise doing it, because it really helps your frames, uh, especially if you've got the hardware to do so. So check that out. I might put that in the link below. It's available uh, for free on the dev forums. So it is legitimate, and you won't get banned for it. People are saying that you would get banned for it, but you won't. Another tip that I would recommend for you guys is using the MSI Afterburner if you have a GPU. Now if we're talking about, you know, the GPU that comes with your CPU, no, that's not the case. You need an actual graphics card. Um, so what you're going to need is the MSI Afterburner and what I'll do is I'll put the link in the description for you guys below. Uh, what you're going to have to do is you're going to, depending on your graphics card, you're going to have to either find on Google or whatever you use, find some information about the best way to overclock your GPU. And now you've opened your FPS unlocker, you're about to join the game, you're all ready and set to go. What I would recommend is, unless you have the hardware to play at max settings, don't try playing at max settings, even with the FPS unlocker, you will find that you get really unstable frame rate unless you have really good hardware to play at max settings. Now as far as development goes within the community, um, there is actually quite a good development team but it's a very small development team from what I know. Now, I'm not going to go too much into detail about who develops what and who codes what and who's a programmer and who's not, but it's a small team and they're pushing for updates every five to six weeks I believe now and for the past few updates unfortunately they haven't met the deadlines that they had told the community members and that made a lot of people upset so it seems to be a mixture of um, miscommunication and not really kind of giving the community what they've been asking for for quite some time now a lot of people do understand that there is limitations to what these guys can do here I expect to see more great things in the future from the development team at BRM5 and I look forward to see what they create in the future. 
A lot of people have lost hope and said that the game has become boring and repetitive but I still thoroughly enjoy coming back in every now and again and meeting up with friends who haven't played the game in a while, jumping in an A10 or a chopper and going to Ronograd or the desert or communications tower or one of the many other places that you can go across the whole map. It really sometimes is endless especially if you're with a group of friends who you know really well and you already know what you want to do as soon as you get in the game. So guys I hope this video was informative to you and I hope it helped you in some way or another. If it didn't uh, I hope you enjoyed the footage at least. It, it, was, it didn't take too long to throw all the footage together. I just wanted to upload something uh, different for you guys. So with that said guys, uh, I hope you've enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Be safe guys and peace.